everyone. Happy Dental Hygiene Month. Did you know that tooth decay continues to be the most common chronic disease in both adults and children in the United States? That's right, 92% of adults aged 20 to 64 have had tooth decay. My name is Carrie. I'm a registered dental hygienist and a burst ambassador. I am here today to share about a product that I feel is very important to our dental health and that can do wonders in preventing tooth decay. On this episode of Burst TV, we are going to dig a little deeper into the benefits of xylitol and how you can incorporate it into your daily routine for a healthier mouth. <sighs> xylitol is a natural sugar substitute that comes from birch trees and fruit. Now wait a minute, I know what you're thinking. She's trying to tell me that the magic ingredient that I have been searching for to help fight my cavities is found in a tree? Yes, that's actually exactly what I'm telling you. And the best part is how it works. Due to xylitol's unique molecular structure, it doesn't break down the way that regular sugar does. And therefore, instead of feeding the bad bacteria in our mouth, it starves it. We all have bacteria in our mouth. The key is learning to control it. Bacteria attacks our teeth when the pH level is low. So by keeping a neutral pH, we can keep the bacteria from being active. Rinsing with water or brushing our teeth is one way to keep a neutral environment. But the reality is we are very busy throughout the day and we aren't always in a position or a location to brush our teeth. Xylitol has the ability to increase saliva in our mouth, which neutralizes the pH and promotes mineralization for stronger teeth. But understanding every detail of xylitol and how it works can be complicated and, well, boring. So here's what you need to know. Xylitol starves bacteria, increases saliva to help with mineralization of our teeth, and neutralizes our mouth to keep a balanced pH. All things that are needed for a healthy mouth. So now that we know what a superhero xylitol is when it comes to bacteria, let's talk about how to incorporate it into our daily routine. Studies show that putting xylitol into your body three to five times a day will help you fight tooth decay. The first and most obvious way to get xylitol into our body is toothpaste. We use toothpaste twice a day and Burst offers three amazing adult toothpaste as well as three delicious kids toothpaste, all of which contain xylitol. So that's twice already. And some people prefer to use xylitol in their coffee to replace sugar. That's another option. What I commonly use throughout the day is 100% xylitol gum, or you could also do mints. Now I say 100% xylitol because many gums and mints out there contain some xylitol, but they also contain many of the bad ingredients that we don't want. The way that I see it is that if I'm using it to improve my health, I don't want the bad stuff. So I choose 100% xylitol gum. But if nothing else, please make sure xylitol is the first ingredient that you see on your product. Now, because it does not contain any of the bad ingredients, the gum does tend to get hard faster, but that's okay. You can get all of the benefits that you need within five minutes of chewing it. Now, what about children? Many of our children also struggle with tooth decay. There are many flavorful options out there as far as the gum and the mints, such as berry and bubble gum. But if this is not a great option for your child, try a Zollipop. Yes, that's right. This is a sucker that is good for your teeth. This makes for a happy child and happy parent. Simply give your child a sucker after they have eaten to get that neutral pH back. Remember, the bad bacteria only attacks in a low pH atmosphere. The final option I'm going to talk about today is clear nose spray. Clear recommends using the nose spray both morning and evening as a preventative measure to getting sick. So this form could actually have two benefits, keep you healthy and keep away tooth decay. A nose spray makes perfect sense if you think about it. We breathe in germs and junk all day long through our nose. And if you remember, I already mentioned that the bad bacteria cannot break down the xylitol. So just like in our mouth, it starves the bacteria reducing the chances of ear infections and sinus infections, keeping an overall healthier you. And in addition, you are still getting that xylitol into your body. So that also counts towards your mouth. Now, 
One thing we do need to consider is that you're not overusing xylitol. Although xylitol has many advantages, it also has a safe daily dosage. Side effects from overconsumption can include gas, bloating, and diarrhea. Many times, an individual's body needs to work up to a higher level of xylitol. Studies show that to be therapeutic, adults should consume 6 to 10 grams per day, but can tolerate between 10 and 30 grams when divided into several small doses throughout the day. After the body adapts to xylitol, adults can consume up to 70 grams and children up to 45 grams per day without side effects. But please, add xylitol to your routine slowly. Also, it is important to know that xylitol can be poisonous to dogs. If you have beloved fur babies at home like I do, please always keep your xylitol products up and out of reach. So I hope with these many options available that you were able to find a way to keep a healthier mouth and a healthier you. See you next time on Burst TV.